Welcome to UConn Post Game Extra, presented by People's United Bank, alongside Meg Como. I'm Andrew Catalan. Happy Thanksgiving from St. Thomas. It was certainly a happy holiday for UConn. 95 to 34 over Wake Forest. They did it in so many ways, but defensively, Meg, that was most impressive. 11 steals, 11 blocks, and Wake Forest shot just over 20% from the floor. You know, it was a physical game, and uh, uh, I get, you know, when you get down a lot, uh, I think you start to get a little frustrated, and that's probably what happened with uh, uh, with Wake. But I thought we responded really well. You know, those last couple minutes were kind of sloppy, but I thought overall, um, you know, we did an unbelievable job uh, in our first game here. Well, I, we're going to be used to seeing this. This is going to be like a recurring theme throughout the season because UConn takes such pride in their defense, and they get so much offense from their defense. But you know, Wake Forest had a very difficult time not only getting shots but actually executing their offense because they're bumped on every cut, and UConn is there, and and they contest every pass and every shot. So they set the tone early with that defensive pressure, and they never let up. Bria Hartley made her season debut, scoring eight points. What did you see from the junior Hartley? Well, you know, we saw great glimpses of how talented she is. I was incredibly impressed with the fact that this kid missed a month of action. And she came in today, and it was really seamless. Uh, I, was, I was very impressed with just how smooth. She didn't look like she had a lot of rust and, and you know, silly turnovers. I thought she played incredibly well. And... The key, too, was patience. She, she let the game come to her. She didn't try too hard. It was exciting. It was good to be back on the court again and just being out there with my teammates rather than sitting on the sidelines. I mean, it's going to be sore if I'm just getting back, but all I can do is just go with the trainers and do all the rehab and stuff that they, have, that they want me to do and go out on the court and just play hard. I thought she did great. I mean, uh, it's hard to sit out that much and, you know, practice only two days and then come out and play. So... Um, you know, little by little, she's going to get back to her old self, and you can see some of the things today that she's, you know, that she brings to the team, and um, I, I just expect more from her now every game that we play. Huskies improved to 3-0, second game in the Paradise Jam tomorrow against Marist right here on SNY. That'll do it for UConn Post Game Extra, presented by People's United Bank. Catch us after every game on SNY for exclusive online post game coverage, and don't forget to bookmark SNY.TV and SNYUConn.com. For Meg Como, I'm Andrew Catalan. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving.